Welcome. I am Nosagus, and this is Bloodborne. So, if you guys are paying, a, uh, paying attention, following along, paying following along, we just beat the game earlier today. It was incredible. Um, I schooled the last boss and the secret last boss even more so. So I have uh, reloaded, uploaded my save from the cloud, and if you notice, we can still, spoilers, go back here, where is it, and go into here and fight the last boss. We can even go up and make that uh, the choice. So after the, after the old Hunter's DLC, maybe I'll go in there and just get killed, because that's an option, that's another ending. Um, so what we'll do is, I don't think we even have the crow armor. Hello, good eye on an evil twin. All right, shut up. <laughs> That's why you kill her. Forty. Remember, we went forty-one. Yeah. Farewell, good hunter. Shut up. I'm talking way too much. Um. Ah! What? Did I not? No. Oh. Okay. 42,000 souls. Is it souls? Now, if you want, we can go fight the Chicago guy again, but I don't really want to. The crow stuff is fun, but we'll get other outfits that are for the DLC. Um, so, let's go ahead and head there. And if you know, the old Hunter's DLC is right here. But um, just in case we've all forgotten, let's just do it the normal way. I think I won't die. The only pro the only bad thing is is um, boost maximum stamina, frenzy, recovery. Let's not get frenzy because we don't need frenzy. Let's just do damage. Um, the problem is I don't have the 300 visceral, which is really nice, so, whatever. Frenzy, slow poison, rapid, all types of resistance. Do I need resistance? How about more echoes from slain enemies? You want to do that? That way we can buy some more stuff. Stamina, max vials, visceral, visceral. Damage reduction, damage reduction. Physical damage, all damage reduction plus four percent. Uh, let's just do that. Sorry, this is stuff that you typically do off, off camera, but I don't know. We're having fun. So you go to the very first. Go to the um, very first hidden Amidala that you find. And when you're first playing the game, one of the first, um, the, I guess the outfit I'm wearing right now, right? The hunter's garb. Uh, when you go to get it outside the cathedral ward, this weird blue light comes and grabs you. And you don't know what it is until later in the game, everything starts to show up and or you have enough insight um, remember, I don't even think we've killed everybody yet. Yeah, we haven't even killed everybody yet. So, um, let's at least go down and kill the core, just so we can get the cord. Even though I'm not even going to fight it, but why not? We'll get the shoes. Insight and slaughter. Slaughter. We already did all that. If you don't know what that's all about, then you can watch my previous video. Um, if you're just like suddenly finding the old hunters. I guess I should have made this just the DLC, but how can you just play the DLC? You gotta kind of know a lot of stuff about the game and everything, right? What does he give us? Pungent blood cocktail. Takes a couple hits. And she gives us a rune, but we're gonna wait. She might 
attack us out of nothing. Remember, Grandma out here had died and gave us some sedatives. Alright, so now we do have... Uh, apparently, my buddy Slycut said any person that you talk to in the Forbidden Woods gives you the Tonsil Stone. And the Tonsil Stone is the rock. No, never mind. That's to a different Amidala. This is, you need the... What do you need? Old Hunter's Bell? No, something Old Hunter's, right? Where is it? This? Maybe. All right. You need some DLC thing. They give it to you pretty early in the game. You come over here. Look at him. He comes and grabs you. Don't kill me. Cursed and fiends. Their children. Cursed the fiends. And their children too. What does that mean? So we're going to the old hunters so if you watched the last video we fought spoilers the first ever hunter and this is kind of the story of them I guess it's just in a dream upon it's in a dream upon a dream This is the Hunter's Nightmare. So there's no way to go back out, but it is the Cathedral Ward again. We look up. It looks cool. We've already tagged this, so we don't have to do this. And we're here. This is it. Um, they kind of say, I guess, to do it New Game Plus, but man, it's hard. It's New Game Plus. So we are level 84, right? I beat the game at around level 80, 80, 82, something like that. And we come out here, and it's a whole different ball game. I love this so much. I love how weird it is. We're already getting... This is a great place to come. If you can get the DLC and then come here early and manage to survive, you can get some really good items. Now we have a pathway up there and a pathway up here. Um, let us... Tomato and cheese. Let's go up here. I don't... I don't remember all the ins and outs. It's been a good while. But hey, that looks like a hunter. And I miss getting to him. However, my visceral did kill him. Blood vials, okay. We're doing fairly well so far. The old, there's a, there, the, the main, well. Old hunter's cap with a wide brim that hides their sharp gaze. In the old days, when hunters were ten a penny, this was part of their standard garb. Ten a penny, meaning that with one penny, they could, you could buy a whole bunch of them. You could hire there was a ton and ton of ton of is that what that means? Nice. So, um, you don't have to do this. But I usually do just because He's not going to come over here. Alright, so this is the Cathedral Ward Gate up to the Caramelia. Alright, we noticed that we killed a hunter. And he was just whipping some weird chain. Shooting a blunderbuss. Oh. I'm 
sorry. I'm going to be playing it like it's a brand new area. So, watch this. This is interesting. Beast. And you're like, whoa, thanks, dude. But he don't care. Old Hunter's Glove. You running down to find me? You're like, hey, we're hunters. Let's hang out. The stupid wall got me. Oh my god. Got to be a little slow. So does he? Fa he fades away. Okay, I was gonna say, let's look at his dead body. Really cool looking weapon. Really cool looking weapon. Old hunters garland made of brass to protect their weapon bearing hand. At the time, some hunters believed that certain metals would ward off beast blood. On the night of the hunt, it is no wonder that some resort to superstitious. What? Alright. I hope I find all the pieces. <laughs> so yeah, the hunters are just hunters. They'll, they will kill beasts. That uh, glove I got was off of that body, not that beast that fell. They will just hunt things and you. I guess maybe... And look, so that guy, I think you can... You can't drop down and get behind him, but you can bypass him maybe. Look, there's a item right there and some guys. Awesome. The moon is looking a little different, too. Alright, so... We can run down here. And there are beasts abound. Let's go this way. Notice that they're afraid of me without me pulling out the fire. You know why? Because this is when beasts knew there were so many hunters that would just mess them up. If, if beasts saw hunters, they were like, oh, man. Because it was a thing. It was the church and the hunters. And there was a lot more to have to mess with. Then, and then this is where things get interesting because I'm fairly certain there's some, some Big Daddy, uh, Big Daddy? Where you at? No? No? Big Daddy! There he is. Alright. Now, what we can do is... Stand back. And maybe let him take all these out. Oh, there's two of them! we can just get mauled by them. I love the way the hunters sound. We don't have to do this because these, are, these guys are easy. These guys are easy, I said. What in the name? See, the problem is when you don't play the game and you're trying to do stupid stuff, you get messed up. Boom. Look at him go. This is probably a bad idea because they're going to turn around and kill me. I want to make sure only one of them sees me. And not both. There is definitely two. So we only got one's attention. You like that through the tombstone? I was just trying to pay attention to his, uh, the whip in the air. They're dropping blood balls.
Remember, this is where all those big white cladded giants were walking around. So, if you want, we can try to um, not be as honorable. Look, there's a way to fall down right there, but you can't get back up. We can be not so honorable. It's fine. This guy's got a different weapon. You're like a big hammer. Alright, is there a way here? This doesn't even give us the option to open it. Okay, well, there's a way to go up that's this way. Let's find out. Is there anything... Here we go. I was like, I knew something was coming. Those are little barbecue, barbecue uh, dogs. Little, little barbecue Dobermans. Play a little tit for tat for them. All right, so be very careful right here because if you pay attention, there's a trap right there, right? And you're walking to go get that. And this thing right here, let's see if it will work. You just will catch some bullets in the back. And that's your first hint at a bunch of traps in this area. So, click. Quick silver bullets. Hey, we needed those. Stuff up there. Alright, so I think we can go up here. Um. Okay, more dogs. Oh wow, that was cool. I hit back, like I dodged backwards, and then when I hit go, it did a nice little lunging attack. Any more? Cocktails. There's a bunch of stuff over there. This guy has a, not a sniper rifle, but he has a rifle. So let's be mindful of that. He doesn't charge us because he likes to just shoot his rifle. So we remember that there is an area over here. Trying to be mindful of all the ways we can go. Are these guys dead? Yep. And we. Oh, looks like we can fall down and get twin. Oh, yeah, this is a good place to come get twin before you can really get it in the main game. Oh, sorry, guys, but we're just collecting. We're just collecting. Sit up straight. Let's see here. Anything else we should be aware of? Hey, there's a guy right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that guy was really fast and he yelled, Old blood. <laughs> Old blood. Kind of startled me. He <laughs> came at me so fast. Turn around, and what's this? Twin. Alright, do we see any more glowies from where we're at up here? Nothing that we missed, maybe. Nothing in the center. Any type of falling or backtracking. Nothing up that we're seeing. Alright. We still got that guy up there. So, so far, what have we fought? One, two, three, four. Five, six, we see six hunters. 
And I'm pretty sure there's one over there. Can we see him from here? Man, six hunters, you know? Like the crazy little... And if you notice, this is where those crows were. So you can do this, but sometimes I miss, and I'm like, damn it, I missed the stupid trousers. And you don't want to do that or fall into this giant pit of crows. So if you can kill a few of them on the back end, it's kind of worth it. So this is just that shortcut there. Let's go ahead and... Nope. Old Hunter's Trouser. Old Hunter Trouser that protected countless hunters from the beast of the older age. Widespread relief of the period was that beast blood crept up the right leg. This led to the double wrap belt. Oh, so they turn it to themselves. That's cool. Did I put it on? No. <laughs> We're getting there. I do love the hat and the face trim. What sucks is when I put whatever coat on we find, my, um, my blood schmear will be gone. What? That's it. What were we all doing? Just hanging out? Nothing up there. Alright, this I believe if we're quiet. There he is. Very quiet. Look at that gun he's got. Kill the old blood! What? You gave me no bullets or anything? Lame. Lame duck. Here, and then this is where we would have come up right after. So yeah, nice little shortcut to drop down and kill that guy. And a shortcut to go past all this stuff. So, what are we missing? The main body? The chest cavity? Remember, there was a bunch of dogs all over this place. This is where those big purple guys stand in the regular um, game. In the regular game. So we're going to go that way. The roof. It's, uh, I still don't see him. Huh. I could have swore. Maybe he's really hidden. I think he's got a really big um, axe. One of those boom hammer axes. Oh, to get over there, do you have to fall? You have to fall to get over there? That kind of sucks. I don't like having to do that. Take damage to gain damage. Where are you, homie? There he is. I knew he was coming. Stop! So he like lights his torch and then boom! Lights that hammer. Ah! Look at that! That's crazy. Watch this, can I? I missed it. Whoa. Holy God. I want that top hat. Oh wow, he's a hefty boy. He yells blood now. Oh no! I thought... <laughs> I thought, um... What did I think? <laughs> what did I think? Uh, he scared me. <laughs> this hat scared me. 
but the boom hammer guys are pretty beast. Wow, that he looked like he was about to do something. Um, unless it was just the thing. Oh, hey, check it out. Turn back around. Vermin! Remember? Vermin was to the guy in the Confederate style clothing, the helmet or whatever. Was it? Why do I think Confederate? Oh, it's he's a confederacy of like legionnaires or something. That didn't make any sense either. Whatever. Root of man's impurity. So we give this the centipede-like creature discovered on successful hunts by league hunters. Vermin found hidden within filth are only seen by the league confederates. Confederates, I thought so. And on a root of man's impurity, the League has assembled a task of finding and crushing all vermin. Perhaps there is some mercy in the madness. Those who wish to see vermin can, and those who choose to ride it with boundless purpose. So I think you have to crush it, or eat it, or smash it, and then you go turn it in, and you get stuff. And you can get that guy's outfit, I want to say. Or a version of it. Beast Cutter. So he came running down with a vengeance. They hold blood. That's it. Where's the chest piece? Hmm. Beast cutter. A trick weapon wielded by the old hunters. A thick iron cleaver slices through tufts of beast hides and transforms into splitting section. So that's that. That's that whipping weapon. It's slow. Okay. That's faster, but then when you transform it, it's that whipping one. Alright. I guess maybe I should have been doing that for every single weapon, but... Play your own damn game. <laughs> uh, you can't get up there? Alright. Okay. I thought... I, where's the where's the hunter's garb? You don't get the whole set? Am I missing it? Have we just not found it yet? Let's go on up here. And remember um, to be mindful of your surroundings. Because I think I get killed a lot. Right here. Here. Here it comes. How far does it go? Wow, that's the first time that's ever I've gotten them to get all of them. So it does come down this second step. I think I usually try to run and hide to the side here. But um, the best thing to do is to, I guess, funnel them into the thing. Now, there's also another enemy up here that may just kill us. I just want to let you know that this enemy up here, we, we might even skip and come. Oh, yay! The old hunter garb. One day, the hunters disappeared. The Yarnamites began to whisper of the hunter's sins. Drunk with blood, chasing after beasts, they would pass on the nightmare. Pass to the nightmare. What? They would pass on to the nightmare, every last one of them. Hmm. Yarnamites would whisper of their sins. What does that mean? Jesus. I'm glad I saw that coming. Open the refrigerator and some giant metal rod slid out from the top. It's a curtain rod. <laughs> Damn daughter was playing with that I hid up there. If I was not such a brave man, it would have scared me. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Fear the old blood. This is it. This is us. Check this out. Desperado. You're out riding fences. The bell tolls. And check this out. Oh my god. <laughs> he got hit. He got hit again. Oh, yeah, but then he got killed. Alright, so let's grab this real quick. Cocktail. 
And we need to go that way. That did absolutely nothing to him. Dude, it's doing nothing. These things are really tough. We can straight try to fight it if you guys want, but to be honest with you, it's a death sentence. If he hits you, you straight, you kind of just die. However, let's go into here real quick. This is Vicar Amelia. Looks exactly the same. Hmm. Try to do that nicely without rolling all the way around. What is this thing? So, straight up, it's just pouring water on it. That is a cleric beast on fire. Right? You guys know. That's a cleric beast. That's the things that's the thing, the very first boss you fight, the optional boss. The Eye Pendant. An Eye Pendant which unlocks the Surgery Altar. There are two cathedrals in the Hunter's Dream. One lies past the River of Blood. Okay. Excuse me. In Dark Souls, in Demon Souls, in Bloodborne, they tell you a lot of things. You just have to, like, listen. Listen to one sentence or read it. And a lot of people skip over or just think, like, I don't know. It's like reading The Lord of the Rings. It's like, it's so oddly written, you just don't understand it. But there are two cathedrals in the Hunter's Dream. One lies past the River of Blood, and the other contains the private research hall of the Healing Church. Only chosen members of the healing church or their lamented patients can enter the research hall using this eye grant eyes to the surgery ultra skull so that's telling you to get to the healing church you have to use this pendant and it's past the river of blood we're about to find out some stuff about this healing church and uh, be forewarned it ain't pretty remember the hunters were part of the choir, is that right? And the choir was split from the finding. They found a Breezus in the tombs in Yarnum, below Yarnum. And then they started doing the ritual of Mensis, which is the daughter and all that kind of stuff. And the old ones, the old gods or whatever, need. Are you joking? Are you kidding me? <laughs> turn around. I said turn around. Now, I have to learn how to backstab these guys because there are a few of them later on and they're a great source of farming. So you gotta not be too afraid. I think besides the first couple of hunters you run across, these guys are the scariest and kill the most people in the very beginning of the DLC. You can visceral them. I think it usually takes two. So I would visceral them and then start winding up as they were standing up. See, six blood vials. I think they give you six blood vials or like eight bullets. One of, one of them gives you so many bullets. I would just farm him over and over and over again. But uh, Lawrence, right? Lawrence left the church, Master Willem. Remember I added Fear the Old Blood, and he split off to form the Healing Church, because it was, he left the school, Bergenworth. So we're gonna find out, they all started doing weird experiments on, on how to use the blood. Look, the bell tolls, I see a river of blood.
Alright, so we gotta be a little... There's a guy right there. And he's shooting. Shooting at us. He's already killed a horse. He's already killed a horse. Now, be careful, because, um, you know, this is Bloodborne. Can I not? Damn it. So, like I said, be careful, but I didn't listen to my own advice. Oh, the cocktail destroyed it. Nice. I thought there was a guy right there. That's why I ran over there, to be honest with you. All right, let's go ahead and just kill this thing first. These are just simple Yarnamites that we don't have to worry about too much. Oh, you see that? And I stepped on the trigger. He's standing on the trigger. What nonsense, dude. That's pretty good. See, even I fall for traps. So pretty stupid. I wish you could. You can't go under that. But look, it's a Amidala or Agmidala or just a statue of it. Maybe, maybe it's just a statue of it. Dead horse. Nothing on this bridge worth a damn. Horse carriage. Go ahead and just heal. Look who's coming out from the backside. Whoa, that was cool. Damn it, you. Damn it, you. No, 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 no. I refuse. I was going to say, I thought I did it the first time. To be honest with you, I thought I did it the first time. He's still alive. You got to be careful with the big guys. Gotta be careful with the big guys. These guys are throwing, like, timed grenades. Blood vial. Oh, great. Look at all these things. Oh, look. I'm just kind of our blood bottles back, though. Oh, I thought this was the grenade. Do you not pick those grenades up? Yeah, that's a new weapon in the, um, the DLC. Alright, let's keep an eye out for ambushes. Just like that. We made a bunch of noise, so they came a-running. We made a bunch of noise, so they came a-running. Delayed Molotov. So basically, as you saw with them, you throw it and it tick, 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 tick. There is something there, but if you jump out there, you have to fall down and then come back. We're not going to do that just yet because we do have a staircase right here. Remember. Oh my god, I was like, is that a guy? <laughs> I was like, is that a guy? This is that house. Remember the house that you can run through? You remember it well. And remember, this old man... You bastard. You bastard. What do we do here? Son of a bitch! I got caught on him. You son of a bitch. I knew... Ah, I remember. I was like, this old man blows up. 
or he shoots something and all these barrels blow up. I was lucky enough to be able to break these ones. So I think the trick to this one is to just start rolling, 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 and or run in and run out. For the boom hammer, this is that big weapon. Trick of the powder kegs, a giant hammer equipped with a miniature furnace, ignited and fired, crush the beast, burn them, the brute simpli simplicity of the boom hammer. So, um, Womb. 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 Trick weapon. Nope, wrong button. And it lights. Boom. That's cool, dude. You used to play the whole game with just that. Alright, now we're getting to where we have options. Because we can go this way. And there's a pretty hard little enemy. We can go the other way, and there's a pretty hard little enemy. Um, so, it's all in what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, I usually rush the shortcut. We have... What does the lid elixir do? Heavy syrup... Temporarily shifts weight to make deflections of attacks easier, but must be used with care. It also slows movement with change of defense. Hmm. I wonder if it'll work on this guy. Maybe not. Okay, so this was everyone playing Bloodborne always wanted to transform into a beast because you got runes that said about beast transformations, blood pellets, stuff like that. Yeah. So, um,. You know, the whole theory was, oh, you're going to be able to transform. And then they kind of added it in the DLC. Not really. But here it is. This guy right here is a transformed little beast guy. Got the roar. So the trick is to corn him. <laughs> He's a very jumpy boy. Um, I'm shocked that I beat him so handily. Trick is to kind of. Um, he's the same with the guy with the old hunters. A lot of these use the old hunter's bone, where when they roll or dodge, it makes it look like they're phasing in and out. That's the old hunter's bone. He's also had the beast roar. Rah, and then he has where I guess you can transform a little bit. I don't know. I've never done it because it was a little too little too late. Little too little too late. Firing hammer badge. So was that worth it? Probably not because I'll never use it. But, you know, hey, we killed a tough enemy. It's very tough. And I was running out of stamina, but I was like, screw it. I'm just going to hit and hit and hit because I got them cornered. Those guys that flash around like that, that's the problem. Is they're so, you miss them. You lose the lock on and you miss them. Bads crafted by the auto workshop. Persic precursor to the workshop of the heretic powder kegs. Those are the gunsmith. Look, is that a flintlock thing on his thing? That's cool. The powder kegs were driven by a singular idea and crafted strange weapons of great intricacy. It is clear that their philosophies of the powder kegs was already established at this time. So, another type of gunsmith style. So, probably all the gun stuff in this uh, DLC you can now buy because of that. But yeah, he was up here. I remember the first time I ever played this DLC coming up here having him run down to here he's so fast and i'm getting cornered but don't you be the one to get cornered you be the one cornering him so you can go out this way yes here we are now and if we look remember there was something up there so what we're going to do is what you would do is come here look at all these nasty nasty things and right there is where we would land. We're going to land right here. Let's just go ahead and... We'll ignore the ticks. Because the ticks, is, or whatever they are, are a whole other nonsense. 
This is an old hunter's top hat. Now we're talking. Warped and bloodstained. You know what? I don't like it as much. I don't like it as much. I like that a little better. I ain't gonna lie. Alright, so... I don't think the blood does anything to you. However, these things will. But, they're not as, uh... They might hit way harder. I didn't get hit by them. So, God, there's a lot of them down there. Um... No, no, no. What is happening? What happened? That was so strange. I know they shoot like blood at you, right? And that did one of them throw something like his tongue at me? Because I was locked into place, and it's hard to believe that just. It's hard to believe that just the, um... Oh, man. <laughs> this bridge. Let's do. Death. Death. Yep, that was stupid. Stupid. That was stupid. I should have. I should have just ran. I've died on that bridge many a time. Damn it. Oh. Sucks. And I spilled my drink all over me. Tater time. Well, that's number one. However, it's very easy to get back there. We just gotta do this. A little bit of yellowing. I believe I've made this run many a time. Just because I can shoot at you. Make it to where he can't shoot in the back. Ignore these things. Don't get hit by the dogs or this guy. I'm honestly not sure if that's the best way to handle that um, ball. Simply because you will get caught. on himself. He stepped on himself. Wow. Clever. Clever girl. Alright, now I guess we might have to kill this hunter because um, of reasons. The problem is there's still a guy there. Does he get blown up? That would be awesome if he did. Right? I've always wished the enemies... Some enemies can, but I always wish the enemies could 
attack each other in the game. Well, it would make sense, right? The hunters kill them. I guess not these guys. They're not beasts. Yeah, so they can attack each other. But his little explosion should have blown the other guy up. That would have been cool. Alright, so we're kind of right here. I think there's two guys. Where are they? One more. It might even be the same. Does it, is it not the old man? I hear it. It is the old man. Okay. Just so we don't accidentally run in here and trigger that for some reason. This is not the way we want to go. Pull the triggers you feel. Now, I think the best way to do it is to actually like run through there. But... Oh, he's here? What? So they're not that tough. They're not that tough. I was going to say, where I was at, oh, he's got my vials. Alright, what I'm going to do is rush that guy. Does he shoot twice? Don't fall off, because you'll fall in the river of blood. I think what was throwing me off is the one guy was standing here, and I... I, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> Literally couldn't handle it. Alright, so, let's open the shortcut. How about that? Okay, I'm going to get my health back here by trying to visceral this guy. If... Oh, I was going to say, watch out. He does visceral, apparently, because he's got stupid grenades. Let's open the shortcut, which is a really, really good shortcut. And then what we can do... This is not the shortcut I'm thinking of. There's another better one. Um, then we'll go down the whole entire river of blood. Um, I might not stop this at the first boss. I might go a good ways in. So, we have a guy here. And let's check this out. Look how close we were to the shortcut than when we died. Isn't that sad? This is the beginning. Remember that door right here? And look, typically there's an elevator right there. Let's find out what this guy is all about. You're a hunter with your sanity, aren't you? Must have taken a wrong turn then, eh? Well... We're more alike than you think. This is the hunter's nightmare. Where hunters end up when drunk with blood. You've seen them before. Aimless, wandering hunters slavering like beasts. Mm -hmm. This is what the poor fools have to look forward to. So, don't be brash. Turn back before it's too late. Unless you've something of an interest in nightmares. <laughs> nightmares are fascinating. I have no interest. I'm not sure the right answer here. I'm not. Nightmares are fascinating. I have no interest. Oh, yes, I see. You sense a secret within the nightmare and cannot bear to leave it be. Okay, maybe that was right there. If the spirit of Bergenworth lives on within you. It Such does. inquisitive hunters will relish the nightmare. But beware. Secrets are secrets for a reason. And some do not wish to see them uncovered. Especially when the secrets are particularly unseemly. What is the secret they're trying to hide? <laughs> Obviously that's a secret. Beware. Right? Especially when the secret... Alright, well we... You always want to talk beware to them and make sure they have... You know, exhausted the dialogue, as they say. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, 
All right. Um. That's a way to go. This is a way up here for something. What is it? I think this is clothes, clothing. Constable's gloves. So yeah, the Legion guy, he's a constable. I was trying to see because we come right there later, obviously there's stuff to get. And there is an ambush, but you can't see it from here. It's very interesting. Yeah, it must trigger only when you're over there. Hmm, very interesting. I, I, lo I went to school for video games, and it was only the art stuff. And you see I'm just playing to myself on YouTube, so that worked out. But um, I'm you know, fascinated with the, like, the programming and stuff like that. All right, we're going to... God, I don't really want to. Let's see, where's the other one? Because the other one's the one I hit. Sometimes, sometimes you do this, <laughs> where you just play like a little bitch. God, that blood holds you in place, dude. That's creepy, man. I don't ever remember that doing that. Get your little nuts back. And all these are like cursed gems and disgusting whatnots. It's an easy little peasy circle back cheesy. I'm covered in it now. Ugh, blood drunk. Alright, well your friend didn't want to play. Maybe it is they're like shooting leeches or something out of their face. Yeah, look at that tongue. Alright! Oh my god, I couldn't get him at all. I was like, why? The stagger on those guys is palpable. Fear the old blood. Pretty cool though, like a river of blood. Like, I, I know it's been done. Tomb Raider, I'm looking at you, but. Alright, so I was able to get one, two, three, and get smashed by the other one. But I can rally, can I? Oh my god, maybe. Back up. Heal. Back up. Back up. Get our bearings. All right. Ooh, that was some good dodging. That was some good dodging. <clears throat> Kept seeing them a little squirt, squirt stuff out. If we notice, that was all leading to this cave back here. I thought I said I wanted to get the shortcut, but hey, we're on the way to get the cave now. So the cave is terrifying. And I actually don't remember what this actually was in the main game. This is all kind of, you know, you kind of want to play like, what part of the main game is this twisted to be and stuff like that, but. Look at this idiot. My question is, does he ever come outside so we can kind of see him?
There is no opening anywhere close. Huh. I don't know, man. I hate fighting in close spaces. Stop doing that. No, oh, I'm dead. Damn it! Damn it! And I knew it when I was doing it too. I was like, maybe I'll get the edge, maybe I'll get the edge, maybe I'll get the edge. We just traded and traded and traded. Damn it! That made me mad. That made me mad because I played like a fool. Just trading them. I'm gonna run in the cave. The problem is there's other things in there and I don't I don't wanna be messed up by some other nonsense, you know? Like that sucks. But we do have a shortcut. Ah, man, that makes me mad. Makes me mad because. I was gonna say, are all the uh, gun guys gone? He comes at you at the end, doesn't he? dare you, sir. I'm like a bitch when you die. Oh, blood. Y'all calm down. What in the name? Why did I move forward like that? That was stupid. I like missed where I was aiming. I wish you could miss all these idiots. Yeah, yes. So, I don't remember that being a thing, but like when I dodge and then hit attack, he'll lunge. He'll lunge at you really well. That's awesome. No, no, no. You go back to how you were standing. What? See, what is it doing that, man? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? <laughs> Oh, hey! I don't know you were in here. Two chunks? Wow! I guess we dicked around too much and, um...
heal me! God damn it, I was like, heal! You fuck. God damn it, dude. Ah, I was like, I can't believe I'm not getting shot. And then I kept trying to heal. Man, that's... I, like, I don't know. A tight little... I, I guess I gotta be brave. My problem is I'm not being brave. A, a tight little hallway to find a guy with a Gatling gun? That's not smart at all. So, let's be brave about it. Can I jump down this way? God damn it, come on! I was gonna say, not like this. Oh my god. Uh, you play the whole entire game, and they don't bother you. And then you try to run past them, and it's like, hey, we have unbelievable reach. Remember our reach? Alright, stop, because I'm a little frustrated. They're not following you. They're not following you. You get past the wagon, and you're good. We're gonna run in, and we're gonna kill this guy. All right? There's nothing he can do to us. I'm stuck somewhere. What a dick, Gatling gun. Come on. All right, well, he's the hardest guy in the whole game. Look at him go. Mocking me by hitting my dead body. This is now the, the rest of the game, is I have to kill this guy now. Ah, oh, what a dick. The problem is, he, he, I don't know, I was going to say he rarely attacks with a sword, but he killed me with a sword. So I was like, can I get the visceral? But I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm just annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed at these guys chasing me. I'm annoyed at getting stuck on a brick or a grave or something. Alright, that's a little better. Better. That's a little better. He healed. Nice. Burn, you bitch! Burn! Fucking tea bag. Gatling gun. I don't even want to read it. It obviously acts like a giant ass. <laughs> Alright. I was hoping that I could back up and he would swing his thing and I could kill him with a visceral. But that seemed to not be. So there is nothing in this area. If you're afraid like I was to run in and fight him, you have carte blanche. Is that how you say it? I have, I have no foreign language skills at all. But yeah, you can use this to your advantage, run around, I throw the sore from crying. I was gonna say I can no I can see that thing, so can we lock on?
All right, there are beasts in here. Do not get trapped. Is that the big boy? Yes. Alright, hold on. It's not that bad. But, oh, it's so scary. <laughs> medicine. We need medicine. Alright, where is it? There it is. It's a blood starved beast. Lost my lock on. Lost my lock on. Alright, we killed it. It's just a blood star of beast. It's just a blood star of beast. Okay, man. Gatling gun guy Gatling gun guy was very hard. Let's not make no bones about it. Um But look at this <laughs> disgusting cave. Agmadala arm. Look at these are these brains growing? Fungus little mushrooms out of all these dead bodies. Ugh, blood starved beast was just in here enjoying it. See, if you came in here and jumped down, you'd be in a world of hurt. There'd be the blood starved beast, there'd be four or five uh, beast little guys coming at you. If you didn't have your antidotes, like you saw, I put the antidote on real quick. You know, kind of. I know because I played the game before, but you can also just kind of be a little more sharp about what you're doing as well. Um, let's check out the Agmadala arm. It literally is just one of those giant, the arm of a small Amidala, Amigdala, Agmadala, great one. Strictly speaking, the Amidala arm is no trick weapon of any sort, but certainly Mad Mail wield it like a club. It's a club, all right. Trick it out. That's crazy. I think it has the same move set as the other thing, the other whip-like one. But uh, it definitely is heavier. Okay. Hey, we did it. Now we have to make it past all the stupid ticks again. Or do we? Jeff. Here. See, that's interesting. Oh, God damn it. happening old blood Ooh, we got ourselves a little a little jamboree here now have the stupid uh, things kill you you know, they- what is this thing doing? 
I've never seen that come up here like that before. Great, it's probably worse because oh he's going all the way around. I hate how they shoot that stuff. Them shooting that stuff is not fun. Please reach him. I can't reach. What is happening? It's like I didn't want to attack. Okay. Whew. All this way just to get uh, in the stomach. Uh. All right, that was a lot, and we're not even there yet. First boss might be just first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, if you you wanted to run this way, there was a thing there. You bastard! Turn around. Come on. He, like, died before I killed him. Just one, please. Whoever's the bravest. Um, excuse me, sir. We can play this game. Are you supposed to go back to your little hole? Go back to your little hole. Yeah, see, that's my thought. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I <laughs> I've never seen that. See, when you get annoyed, that's when you get killed. God damn, dude. One of you's gotta die, right? At least by now. damn one. It's like they almost die. It's so weird. They die before they die. Constable's trousers. I think to get his hat, you have to turn in the vermin, and it's either one, five, or ten. <laughs> but we're collecting his whole guard. When we get his whole guard, we'll eventually change it out, maybe after the next boss. Next boss, maybe my favorite in the whole entire game. We'll see. Um, and I'm sure I probably won't be anywhere near as good as I used to be at it. So, And or remember how to do it properly. Wild ass dogs running around. Barbecue dogs. Three more. A little slide to the left. There's a crow right there. Alright, uh, before we go any further, forgive me, I do have to use the potty. So, just hang out for two seconds.
All right. Okay. Thank you for holding my spot. We have a lot of blood echoes. This is cool. Can we go up there? This always seems like you should be able to, right? But you can't. Alright, now let's not go too far that way. Let's cut back this way to make sure that we don't get... Oh, no. This is where the dogs are. This is where the dogs are. And they run out. I thought... See, like, if you're running in real quick, they come out. They, they get you. Um, hello? Hello? Oh, there he is. Alright, don't... Let's not lock on the stupid crow. Maybe let's lock on the crow. There's this guy. What's odd is there's these guys moving about, and they make you think they're crows, but they're not. God, horrible. You're so horrible. And there's always way more crows than you imagine, because they come down from... Yeah, see up in the little rafters pebble. They always have pebbles on them. This is creepy because look at all these guys just still alive. Uh, God, could you imagine? Look at that. Ugh, for eternity. And then there's this thing. And I remember trying to make this jump from off of there forever and ever and ever. But you cannot do it. This is not a shortcut. It just kind of gives you a window into what's going on. There is a ladder up. We're not going to take that ladder up. We're going to go around the back side here. Because if I'm not mistaken, more dogs. At least one dog, right? Is it just one? Yes. So the reason this guy is here with the dogs is, number one, A, if you run around this corner, he'll get you. But... You can fall down from right there. Come on, grass. You can fall down from right there. And if you fall down, then there's a guy and dogs here. A dog. Anything, 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 anything. Oh, every time I hear the moaning, I think it's something important. It's not. Okay, so we're almost to the shortcut. We can, to save ourselves some grief, run to it. Which is what I would recommend. <laughs> if you don't run to it, then you're setting yourself up for maybe dying and then having to run back all the way. Now, if you look, this is pretty cool. This is a fence. This is a fence. Fence, 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 fence. That's where it looks like there's some stuff. There's that item. The item's right down there-ish. There's an item right there. Hmm. 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 Oh, look no fence right here can we click clop we can I love that look how that's just so genius man so simple yet if you if you miss it you know you miss it so we can go clip constable garb now they can't let you run on that and jump because that would have been the easy answer um, so we do have most of the constable stuff However, maybe we'll turn in some vermin stuff. Once upon a time, a troop of foreign constables chased a beast all the way to Yarnum, and this is what they wore. The constables became victims of the beast, except for one survivor, who turn, in turn devoured the creature whole, all by himself. The fable is a favorite among Yarnumites, who were partial to any story of pompous, intolerant foreigners who suffer for their ignorance. It makes the blood taste sweeter. So yeah, I think we have, what, his trousers? Do we have his trousers? Yes, we do. So we have everything but his helmet. I'll look up how to get his helmet, and maybe offline I'll farm it. And uh, the next time, after we beat... Oh, my nose is okay. After we beat the game, we'll um, 
be the next boss fight the whole game. So, here's the thing. If we run up here, this is quite beautiful. The bell tolls. And if we go down that ladder and run to the blood, there is a shortcut. A very, 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 very good shortcut. However, oh god, there is a hunter right here. We could kill this hunter. There might be two of them. And this hunter is no joke. I don't even see him. Where is he? This one has a quickening quick step and like a bladed weapon. So I don't think we've even fought this one before. There he is. We missed. We missed. We're dead. What is happening? I was gonna say, please just hit one. Please just hit one. <laughs> He's another one that is extremely hard because of how fast he is. And the problem is, I was very scared because I just said we might die. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, please don't. Hey, he dropped two things. Vermin! Awesome. I think I think he drops it a lot actually. I, I remember maybe I remember farming him. I'm not 100 percent sure. Whew, that was scary. Everybody all clinched up. He was right here just chilling. Camel flushed. And then you get this. Beast Hunter staff. Maybe that's what he was using. Safe, not staff. Whatever that is. A trick weapon used with only a second blade is found inside the curve of the main one and it's in its initial form. The safe. I hope I'm saying Is that right? Safe? Can be wielded like a long curved sword, but the Tristan blade is contrary to lower. Although the trick weapon allowed. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Whatever. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cross our fingers. And we're going to hope that we don't die on this short, short, short run to the checkpoint. And I'll show you why in a little bit, okay? At some point, you I'm in, like the first time I ever played this, I did this whole area, it took me forever and ever. And then finally, you're like, <clears throat> screw it, there's got to be a shortcut up ahead. And you just kind of run, and you're rewarded because there is. So let's do this, and then run quickly, quickly. Quickly, watch out for that guy. Please don't do that again. Okay, whoo. <sighs> All right, well, I was wrong. It's not a shortcut, it's an actual lantern. So let's go ahead and go on back. No judgments. <laughs> that guy shot me right in the face. <laughs> so yeah, if you dick around coming down that ladder, if you dick around coming down that ladder, those big guys, remember we fought one of those at the steps of Vicar Amelia's place. I wish it showed me. See, this doesn't even do as much, dude. God, it costs 42,000 to level up. It doesn't show you your visceral, does it? Wait a minute, we did get some badges, didn't we? Some new badges? Oh, here's the delayed Molotovs. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna buy some bull paper because we will be using it later a lot. Beast cutter, Chicago boom hammer, Armadala arm, tons of guns. <laughs> I've never used any of those. Tomb prospector, cane her stuff. That's it. Huh. Remember we don't remember we don't have the crow badge because we did that before I loaded my save. Was I gonna say something? I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry. Blood rock. There it is. So that's another way to buy or you can buy the most leveled up the how to get your weapon plus ten. By the way. Let's see, we did get some new stuff. So yeah, the blood rock, I would need 60. What do I have, 23? You know what, I probably have 60. Um, I probably have 60 in my old man's knowledge or whatever it is. Huh, what? Boost rally potential. Oh yeah, we looked at this last time, right? I actually like... Uh, it's just 10 more. Alright, screw it. And then let's go... Let's just try to get ourselves over... 300. No, that's Ken. I need to sell that. So the second one does nothing, huh? Oh, these were... Add blood attack? Blood attack up. I guess I'll do that? I don't know. Oh, 23? Do I have 40, basically? Right? Is that how math works? I have 52 madman's knowledge. Ah! My head explodes. Blood rock. Alright. I think you get one more. I thought you got one more in the game. You only get two in the whole game. And then two in the DLC. One in the DLC. Right. What is that little line? Is that your gun? Something to do with your gun? Um... Let's go talk to the constable. Oh, man. I don't know how long you've been going. Probably an hour or two. Um, I was going to try to play the whole DLC in one big go, but it seems a lot harder than I remember. So, and I know there's like long areas. I was thinking maybe into three videos. It doesn't really need to be three videos. Three three-hour videos. Three two-hour videos. Three thirty-thousand-hour 30, videos. All right, so what is happening? Whatever that was, was weird. Is that guy always there? What's that? This is a constable. It's a, He's in such a weird area. Like, he's not in the DLC. He's not in Odin's Chapel. He's here, you know? That's what's strange. Ah, uh, how goes your hunt? Do not forget the League's mission. To cooperate with Confederates. Fine. Ah, uh, do not to cooperate. Alright, so yes, you have to, I believe, stomp on them, or smash them. So 
so we stomped on it. Ah, very good. You've crushed some vermin. <laughs> I'm the master of the league, I can see it in your eyes. I'm pleased. This makes you a true fellow of the league. A confederate. Now, take this stuff. A symbol of our oath. Of our blood-drenched fate. League staff. So that's, uh, I guess, like a little legend. League oath. You get your own little emote. You'll be welcomed as a true confederate. Go forth with renewed vigor. In short time, you will see. You will see. Our mission takes hold of one's spirits. I like his voice. You'll be welcomed in short time. Alright, let's see. Yeah. Something to do with PvP, I, I think. Yikes. Hello, Confederate. Turned at the world of man. So wondrously much like our. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we gave him one, we've crushed two, right? I guess. Uh, we don't actually turn them into him, so let's just be mindful we've done two. Um, if we get if we get three, uh, I don't think there's any more old hunters in the rest of the game. It's just those couple ones. So you gotta kind of farm them. I don't know if anything else actually drops them. I don't, I can't, I can't think of anything in the main game that drops them. Nightmare Church. Oh, you were there. All along. Alright, so this is that church. Let's go down, just in case. There is a thing right there. Alright, we got to it before the ambush. Really can't see. Oh, two chunks. Good. Old an old hunter. You used to be able to see them, right? Like if I ring it, he would show up. Or like uh, you could see it and this is that river I'll show you where it leads but look at that guy right there and he's got red eyes do they all have red eyes uh, you used to be able to see his shadow way more pronounced I thought it was like clear as day his shadow was right there yeah. all right we got a little a little bit of whoa <laughs> He's got red eyes. I wonder if they all have red eyes. Blood vial. <gasps> Vermin? Yes! So that's three. Um, I bet you this breaks. I bet you that breaks. Because if we look down here, there are a ton of crows. Do I have any cocktails? I don't need this anymore. We have one. Oh, I do have some delayed ones. Let's back up just a hair. Oh, you bitch. That did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing. Whoa! <laughs> Why are you throwing them like that? What? They're throwing them so weird. Let's walk across. They're just crows, but you don't want to fall down and get, um, you know, your face mangled. 
I want to see if this falls. However, I don't want to fall and have the crows really kill me. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to take the safe way down. Because that'll happen. We'll all just jump out. Oh, that one pecked. Little pipe of pesh. So is that one, two, three, four, five? If you were to fall, if you were to fall, you know, five. <laughs> you'd be like, oh god. And you'd be like, I died of stupid crows. And you'd be all mad. Oil. Hmm. All right. So let's go up here. Um, what? Now, I always thought that thing came out of the sky. But now that I'm looking at it, do you think it came out of there? You know what? I think it probably came out of there. I always thought that thing just fell from the sky. Like a little mermaid, a beautiful mermaid. Wow, yeah, it probably got flushed down some sewer pipes. Falling from the sky kind of makes no sense. Search body. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, um, I'm going to let you a little secret. This is my favorite DLC weapon. Um, now... We got a dilemma here, because there are a bunch of crows. Stop it. I'm shocked the guy has not turned around, but I guess he doesn't care about the crows, right? Come on, slugger. We're gonna try to get a little freebie on this guy because he might have a vermin. Careful of the dogs! Remember, we did three. Nope. See the two dogs over there? That dog just gave us it. I don't want to fight the other one, but I want vermin stuff now, so I'm... Where's your... Where's your master? What? Huh. Alright, so we, we have done three, right? Oh my god. <laughs> this will be the third one. Oh, so crunchy. I guess we could put on the little emblem that gives us more... Um, You know what? I'm dumb. This is the hard way to go. Should have gone the other way. Hey, man. Old blood. Old blood. I was going to say, 
I know. I did something. Blood vials. Oh, man. Oh, man. We need two more. Wolf, wolf. I'll farm them later, I guess. I don't know if the first hunters do it, because I remember only getting them from, like, that guy. Oh, we didn't check and see if he had red eyes. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, you know what? There's sewer drains all over the place. Maybe that thing didn't fall from the sewer. Maybe I'm wrong. I know it's unheard of, but... Alright, so you got some big guys. Oh, they're in place now. He has like a cannon. That hurt. Alright, so remember, this is the church we were just at. We went down here. Should I fall on that bridge? <laughs> I think that bridge breaks. Um, the old hunter, if you need an old hunter, there's like two or three of them in this area to help you with the boss, because we're right at the boss door, by the way. But before I end it, I want to kind of play around a little bit, because I think there is a few more things. I think there is a few more things. Yeah, so these two guys, I would farm constantly. I think I would start at that thing, I would just walk over here gingerly. And I think you go attack, visceral, and then as soon as he falls over, you start going attack again. Yep, and then visceral again. And then you go ahead and move over to here. Oh, let's pick up this. Tons of quicksilver bullets. Visceral. As soon as you land and your arm is pulled back, start doing it again. Don't do it too early because you'll miss. And look at this. Six. So, tons of stuff from both of those. Very easy kills. Um, there's a little winding path that you can get away if they're shooting at you too much. Madman's Knowledge. I think there's a hunter around here, or a summons, or clothes. There's something about some twins that I'm remembering. Two types of twins, and I always think, I always think it's a um, shout out to the poison swamp girl in Dark Souls, the chick with the butcher knife. Right, let's not go up there just yet. I think it's back here. Maybe. Hello? 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 Am I mistaken? Huh. Okay. I guess not. I could have swore there was... Let's see, what is this? Yeah, the butcher mask, the butcher guard, the butcher glove. And I think who you can summon over there is one of them. Or something. Let's do this instead. Garb of the Moderatus. Moderatus twins? Denizens of the Forbidden Woods. <gasps> yes! That's what it is. There was twins. And remember, we found one. It's this one. The grave... Wilhelm kept two loyal servants back in Burma. When they were sent to the labyrinth, they encountered the Edwards two went mad. Doris became the grave guard. And then the other one is this one. Both twins became hunters and brought back... Dissected their beat... What? Brought back and dissected their beast prey in order to support the village in their forbidden research. Whoa. Mm. What was it called? I don't 
don't think I've ever worn this suit. The other one was awesome. This one, this grave uh, guard, grave robber. Is this it? That looks stupid. <laughs> it looks like uh, there's there's a superhero in the Watchmen that gets killed by um, his own cape or something. The comic book. I haven't seen the whole sh the show. I've seen the movie, but um, I haven't seen the show. Heard great things. But yeah, he's got like a noose around his neck, and um, <laughs> I don't. That looks dumb to me. I like the green instead of it all being all black. Yeah, for some reason I thought maybe it's just that you can summon her or summon. Yeah, I guess it's her, right? But it, it could either be a kind of a um, callback to the butcher that hunts you down in the swamp what am i looking for I'm sorry my foot is itching like crazy literally rubbing my controller all over the bottom of my gross foot uh now i'm licking it um old hunter trouser right old hunter old hunter so yeah now we're not all bloody anymore anyways there's the, in a poison swamp you fight a butcher a female butcher so you get bloody from the ground, you don't, that kind of sucks. Um, and then in Demon Souls, Dark Souls, one or the other, there is a area that has a butcher female and you can get her like sack head dress. Now be careful because this is a trap, I think. Yeah, what's this lady doing right here? Why are you here even? this little girl before she was dead so you're supposed to run down here like it's no big deal and then turn and oh. somebody's over here you can summon too if you're online maybe I don't know. I remember fighting this boss with like three of my own summons. That's from the lady. This poor guy is alive. He'll never attack you. He's always banging on this door. And he always gives you five blood vials. Always. So they load you up on blood vials. God, my foot is so itching. Why? I'm gonna lose this boss fight because of stupid foot. Alright, now this is one of my favorite boss fights. However, it is very hard. <laughs> it's very hard. And I will probably die. And I will probably take a while to get used to how to do it again. It's been a long time, so let's just bear with us. <sighs> but here we go. I want to say dodge to the left. Ludwig the Accursed. What's that? Have mercy. Have mercy upon us. <laughs> the instant dodge is what gets you every time. Oh my god, he's so horsey. Horse flesh. Horse meat. Overeem style. Here we go. Alright. Flash, flash. I staggered him. Back up. Back up. 
Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. I got it. So he has he has a bunch of slashes, and it's with his hand that's raised, and that's the hand you want to dodge into and get to his hind quarters. However, while we're waiting, let's take a little break. All right, Ludwig the Accursed. Now, who was Ludwig? Because Lawrence leaves the school, right? Lawrence leaves the school and forms the choir that then forms the church. And then the church does kind of all sorts of these eyes on the inside stuff. Ludwig Ludwig's Holy Blade, a trick weapon typically used by the Healing Church Hunters. It is said the Silver Sword was employed by Ludwig, the first hunter of the church. When transformed, it combines with its sheath to form a great sword. The Healing Church workshop began with Ludwig, not Garman. Garman is the first hunter. The Healing Church uh, is Ludwig, and departed from old Garman's techniques to provide hunters with the means to hunt more terrifying beasts and perhaps things still worse. I love that the building's on fire, we're just like, nah, go on in. I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have sold everything. <laughs> Let's get the whirly gig saw. We never got to read that. Oh, we, we're not going to get to read it. I'm just going to level it up. I have shards. So, yes. Plus one. Plus two. Plus three. Twin. Plus four. Plus five. Plus six. Plus seven. Plus eight. Plus nine. We have a plus nine whirly gig saw. Damn, I really got rid of a lot of stuff, didn't I? You idiot. Physical attack boost rally potential. We'll save that one. 252. Charge attacks up. Physical attacks up. Oh, the attack versus the kin, though. Here's that stupid triangle one. I sold all my triangle ones, you guys. What an idiot. I sold all my triangle ones, not realizing. Okay. No worries. Um, so yeah, the Whirly Gig is kind of my second favorite weapon in the whole game. Um, my favorite. Oops. So it's a giant club. And you go R1, 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 R2. But when you... And then R2 is... So, really, it's a two-handed weapon. Um, we'll keep it on us. We don't have to use it, but we have it. Okay, back to Ludwig. Ludwig is the first hunter of the Healing Church. The whole DLC is about the Healing Church. Kind of. 
Let's just remember that. Now we know who he is. Lawrence is the scholar that left Wilhelm to start it. He had two uh, scholars that became hunters. They were the twins, Graveguard, Miranda. Mm, I can't believe I got rid of all those. So maybe that's a good reason not to sell your stuff. So remember, we could kill those guys and get stuff. Um, that's always a good thing to do. Be careful of this lady because she will hunt you down and cut your eyes out. Never mind the crows, but we will kill this guy. Because he always drops five blood balls. This is just a pebble. She always drops pebbles. Which I, we, I guess we could have taken. Alright. One more time. I dodged that. I'm dead. Where's my... There it is. That's what I was looking for, dude. Oh, damn it. I backed up to heal and I had hurt him. Alright, watch out, because he might just... Is he stuck? I am missing... Death. Yep. Okay. We'll get there. Like I said, he's one of the ones that's real hard. And um, typically, you summon a bunch of people and just go crazy on them. However, there are fight, there are um, there are moves that you know his slashes. They're easy enough to dodge. I just gotta kind of get the timing. When he starts jumping in the air and you can't see him, that's when you gotta be like, oh my god, this guy's ridiculous. This guy is ridiculous. I still have never used a Seska's. <laughs> um, blood and I'm telling you every time we will get this guy's files because if we're dying then majority of the time we're using five files you know like when I get in there I'm probably using five files so I might just forget the souls um, I know that's a shame, but not for that. Flash, big round slot. He breaks your lock on. I got my lock on back. Get him! Get him! Back up! Back up! Back up! I don't know how to dodge that, I'm sorry. Missed. So I know you can't see, but I just shrugged. <laughs> I just shrugged. I don't, I don't know. He'll jump in the air and you'll see like drip 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 a few bloods and then he falls and he always falls on you. So it's a matter of like maybe you're rolling. I don't, I don't know. That's one – that one and, and he has a supercharge where he just takes off and you know will kill you while you're where you're standing. Those type of moves to me suck. Um, you can I guess study them. There are people that beat this game with no hits and stuff like that. But for just somebody like me, I'm not trying to study all his animations. Um, like, instant kills that the bosses can do have always bothered me. Like, I'm doing so good, and then the computer, the AI, is like, well, time for you to end this. Slam, you know, or whatever. Those, those have always been kind of shitty. But we're getting it. We're learning the timing. It's to his left. Or to my... 
Go slash, slash. See, that one goes backwards. I missed that one, but I can rally. No, I can't. Ah, I'm missing that. It's a bunch of forward slashes. The distance. Got him that time. Buckled him real bad. That just loses lock on. Alright, if you can't get to him, don't be sad. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like... The boss just decides to kill you. I've, I've never been a fan of those things, man. Because it is what it is. It's like, you're doing pretty good. You're learning a little bit of timing. I'm going to jump in the air where you can't see me and land on you. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do to dodge that? I've, I've been trying to just roll. Should I run? Imagine if I just run, it just land on me faster. <laughs> so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real, real with you. I, I, I schooled most of the bosses in the main game. This boss, and then especially the very last boss of this game in the DLC. You might be watching me fight him for hours. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll watch him to go to sleep to my own voice. I was lucky enough to be close enough to go through. <sighs> lucky enough to go through his spray. You were at my side all along. My guiding moonlight. Look at that. Screenshot! Screenshot! Great Moonlight Sword, he had it on his back the whole time! Listen to the music! Goodbye, Ludwig. Uh, so I I wish I was better at fighting him so I could 
back up, make it more dramatic, and you can listen to that music. I'm not a huge music guy. I'm pretty tone deaf. I love to sing. I love to sing badly. But something about especially his second form music is so good, so blood pumping. I don't even want to pretend to like, act like it's good. Oh, what sucks is that guy died. So we have guidance. Oh, those are my blood echoes. Somewhere in here, the guy... Oh, this guy, yeah. I wonder if you can ever leave him alive. These guys are alive. So, um... That fight is hard. He has a ton of slashy, slashy attacks in his first phase. If you get up on him, behind him, he'll have a kick, 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 like jump up and down, bunk, bunking, bro... How do you say it? Something Bronco. I want to say Bronco. Bucking. Bucking Bronco. A bucking Bronco. Um, and I, if you get up under him, like you just want to play the game of I'm going to cut his belly open, he will just shoot across the arena and it will like uh, instant kill you. The one that gets me though is the, the ceiling one where he jumps up and lands on you. The one where he has the sword... He'll do a few slashes and slashes. If you're far away, he'll do big slashes, and they'll send the energy. Um, when he raises it up, you saw I backed away. You got two options when he raises it up. If you're close to him, get behind him. Get behind him, kind of wait for the AOE, and then get close and just eat him up, eat him up. But if you're away from him, just might as well just back up, watch where he's going to shoot it. It's a giant Kamehameha blast. So, very, very fun fight. Very, very fun fight. Very tough fight. Beautiful. What an incredible boss. Crazy horseman that turns into a standing sword wielding, like, uh, what do they call it? Paladin or whatever, you know? So we lit this lantern and we go over here and guess what? Good hunter. Have you seen the thread of light? Just a hair. A fleeting thing. Yet I clung to it, steeped as I was in the stench of blood and beasts. I never wanted to know what it really was. Really, I didn't. What's crazy is that was somebody's voice acting. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Uh, poor Ludwig. I guess he just went mad, right? From trying to do this eyes on the inside nonsense. What did he give us? Guidance, right? Boost rally potential. 20%. Oh. Carol Rune, discovered by the old hunter Ludwig, along with Holy Moonlight Sword. Uh, excuse me. So sorry. Boost amount of life recovered by rallying. But it never moves the bar. So if you, if that little white bar moves and then you rally, 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 and get to that white bar, it doesn't go any past that. That's what I would want. Is let me rally all the way. When Ludwig closed his eyes, he saw darkness, or perhaps nothingness, and that is where he discovered the tiny beings of light. Ludwig was certain that these playful dancing spirits offered guidance and emptied Ludwig of his fears, at least in the midst of a hunt. Like just that when you put, you know, poke your finger in your eye or you look at a flash too long and you see those little, ah, whatever they are. Um, I'm so sorry, Ludwig. Uh, 
Oh, I can't even use it. I need arcane something. An arcane sword discovered long ago by Ludwig. When the blue moonlight dances around the sword, it channels the abyss, abyssal cosmos. Its great blade will hurl a shadowy light wave. So like how he was throwing the waves, you can do that. The holy moonlight sword is synonymous with Ludwig, the holy blade. But few have ever set eyes on the great blade. And whatever guidance it had to offer, it seems to be of a very private and elusive sort. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, really, really cool. Oh, I like this shit up there, I forgot. Um, man, what a great boss fight. It's almost like I wish I could take my time on it. I feel like I beat him pretty, not easily, I died a few times, but... I don't know, I remember being just like... There's no way you can beat this thing, it's so impossible. And then one day, like the first time I ever played this, to go, I'm gonna beat every boss on my own, by myself. And I just tried and tried and tried and tried and learned his moves and learned his moves and learned his moves. It took forever. Like I said, it's been a while. I mean, we might be over level, but I mean, I died twice, right? Way too much. I have 207. Let's get a bunch of bullets then. Alright, well, I wanted to come back here and do that real quick, because when we play again, we're just going to start right off. I think I am going to stop. I, I, can't want, I want to kind of keep playing, but eh, might as well cut it. Underground corpse pile. That sounds lovely. And I think we have somebody here we need to talk to. I don't know his name. Uh, we'll find his name out later on, I think. Hey, friend. Is he always touching his forehead? A tragic figure. But he will shame himself no longer. He died with his ideals untarnished. He was a true hero, and earned that much at least. You know, how old is this place where he's become a beast and he was a hunter for so long or whatever? Do you know why the hunters are drawn to this nightmare? Because it sprouted from their very misdeeds. Things that some would rather keep secret. A pitiful tale of petty arrogance, really. High time someone exposed the whole charade. Well, we're gonna expose it. Now, now. Go on ahead. You seek nightmares and the secrets within, do you not? I like that. Now, now. I like this guy because he is kind of our um, divine comedy. What's that dude's name? God, Virgil. He's our Virgil leading us into. Alright, I really want to keep going, but I'm going to stop right here. And uh, we'll go ahead and just take a knee. And uh, thank you guys so much. Until next time, peace out.